All right, so what's up everybody? Uh, just got in, got all my ducks cleaned up, and we're gonna cook some of these black belly tree duck thighs. These are the drumsticks and the thighs right there. Just gonna take some Everglades heat, right there, Everglades heat, because she's not really a big fan of spice, I am, so doctor them up. Most of the times, all you do is just breast out a duck, but these black belly tree ducks have big old thighs, and they are really, really, really good to eat. So, we'll put some Everglades heat on them, just like that. How good that looks. Mar, what do you think? You like duck? You like duck? Yeah, well you don't get any. All right, so now this is some Everglades all-purpose breader. Normally, I don't add anything but the breader. Normally, I just take the duck or the fish or whatever I'm cooking and roll it in the breader, but today, I wanted it to be a little more spicy, a little more alive. So, that's that. Just roll them around in there, just like that. Get them nice and coated. Good. Pull them out, set them on there. Ooh, look how good that looks. T, what do you think, man? Pretty stoked, yeah? Want to make sure the oil's hot. Oh yeah, before you put your your meat in the in the oil. Otherwise, it'll absorb too much of the oil, and that's not what you're looking for. Look at that duck thighs, y'all. This whole channel, deer meat for dinner. It's it's not just about deer meat. Obviously, this is about our way of life. You know, I'm 37 years old. I was born and raised right here in Jupiter, Florida. There's nothing in this world I like to do more than spend time in the outdoors. I was lucky enough, fortunate enough to have a great family, amazing parents, and all I've ever done my whole life is hunt, fish, free dive. So this is what I like to do. If you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, feel free to hit me up. If you guys want to see something new on a video, just let me know about it. Say, oh man, can we see this? And I'll do my best. But right now, I wasn't even gonna make a video today. I was just gonna cook some lunch. And I'm like, nah, I'll just show everybody what I do. So uh, this is actually gonna be, see that? That's a leftover baked potato from last night that I'm gonna heat up. And uh, should be pretty good. Check out Remy, she's just loving it over there. See that ball? What are you doing, girl? What? It's pretty dog, isn't it? One more. Get that toy bar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you get it, Rivers. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Get that toy. Get it, Rivers. Get, get it. You tell it what it's all about. Well, these are our kids. You know, I don't have any kids yet. Hopefully we will one day. And uh, check this out, this is looking good. It's smelling really good. Nice golden brown. Now, I actually tell you, not a lot of people know much about these black belly tree ducks. They're a beautiful bird. They're originally from South America. They don't quack, they whistle. They have a really unique, high-pitched whistle, and I'm doing my best right now to figure out how to call them. So there's probably a few things you don't know about black bellies. A, they're nocturnal. Black belly tree ducks will feed all night long, and then they'll fly back to their roost and roost in the morning 
stay there all day and then fly out that afternoon. That's why most hunters that do get an opportunity to kill a black belly tree duck, it's very, very early and very, very late. Because during the day, they're roosted. And uh, they're tender, got a very mild flavor, not very gamey, extremely good. I love them. We're gonna be hunting them again tomorrow morning. All right, so our thighs are about done. Check that out. Throw this over here. That right there. Looking good. Be sure to shut that off. Move that out of the way. Okie dokie y'all, here's the deal. Got a nice plate full of duck breasts, got some barbecue sauces, the Everglades Moppin' sauce. Huh, you know what that is, that's my loaded baked potato from last night, and I need a fork. Alright, so, let's see how our duck is. It's crispy, I can tell you that. So good. I wish you guys got it, Tebow. Remy, no. Look at that. Moist, beautiful, tender. Mm. Some nice spice, that Everglades heat. You can feel the spice in it, but just amazing flavor. I can tell y'all right now, that was a really good lunch. It's Friday, end of January. Remy wants a piece of this duck so bad she can't even stand it, but I'm not gonna give her any of these bones. All them thighs, they're gone. And I'm happy, happy, happy. As the old duck commander would say himself. <laughs> Appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit me up. Let me know if you wanna see anything. And uh, that's all I got to say.